If current trends continue, by 2040, Filipinos will be reliant on other countries to supply seafood to a growing population. Here, on the small island of Ioke, that would be particularly devastating as most residents are dependent on fishing for both work and food. So, uh, pag start na nako fishing, it started well 1989. So, ang pagpanagat din sa Katilan, uh, sa Ayuke mismo, in any kind of fishing, not uh, illegal man or uh, legal on that time. Kay kaniyad to sa iyapaan kwan, iyapaan mga organisasyon na kasuyo dire. So free all ang tanan na managat. Naghamok lang mga isda ay ang isda ang gamayar kan. Siyempre ka sa mga kabiro at kay amun na may ato lagi pang inabuhian. Sa nga nilagay na daw at kaysa lagi kwan daw mga iliga lagi ng mga panagat kay amun may kaysa daw makapuunan mga isda. In order to sell their catch, Ioke's fishermen have to motor 90 minutes to Kantilan's central market. Anilu Lumapquid represents Ioke's fishermen and regularly checks in with them at the market. I grown up with my family just nag-asa lang sa pangisda. Tagpadako kami, tagpa-eskwela, tagbistihan. Tanan, gikan na ka doon sa panagat na nako, tatay. Grabe ka, kuha na nako, kasing-kasing para sa mga... Twenty years ago, they used to harvest hundreds of kilograms of fish. But now, recently, the average catch is three kilos to ten kilos. The problem in the Philippines is that most of the policies are just paper laws. So it only sticks on the paper and no follow-up. So no monitoring, no enforcement. In 2013, EDF and RARE initiated a project called Fish Forever. Ioke was chosen as a pilot site. The idea was to create a managed access fishing area, or turf, around the island a dedicated area where fishing rights are given only to licensed fishermen who agree to fish in a way that allows fish stocks to recover. An ko an, ang pagsugod ng turf gazod sa Ayuki, bisan ako, waya man gazod ako makasabot, pero ang ibang sab na mga tao, nagdumili gazod tungod kay, nagtuo sila na dili na pwede mangisda sa zaon na area sa sulod sa, sa turf. During the design process, you know, the discussions were very lively with people yelling, you know, getting excited. Sometimes there were tears. You know, people just not really holding back what their opinions are of what the future for Ioke fisheries should be. We bring the fishers to the table because we need to empower them to say what they're thinking about, to tell us even their worries their concerns. We want everyone to have that sense of ownership. Sa hinahinay na ipasabot ko sa ila na maswerte gari ita kay sa hoyho din ng mga organisasyon na naghatag ng tabang sa ato para ma-conserve, para ma-conserve ang ato pangisdaan. Everyone plays a major role. EDF, their strength is fishery science. So Emily shared to us the different management strategies in other turf areas like in Belize, in Vietnam, in, in Fiji. It's been a pleasure to work with you over the last... Kuman na mintras mo gina-assess o gina-propose ng kuha pagpadyaga na niya, mo abot na hapit sila doon katuig ang pag-process ni ni 
before si Zama ma launching. So this card certifies that the person signed is a legitimate Fisher Fox of Monitiman. The information that we got from the fishers was about what they're catching, what are the most valuable species, the habitat area. And then from there, we had a participatory process where they got to draw boundaries, creating turfs or managed access areas on a map of Ayoke based on the local knowledge that they have and then some of the scientific rules of thumb that we were able to, to share with them. By some estimates, sustainable fishing could help provide nearly 25 million Filipinos their fish protein by 2050. At the same time, fishermen's profits could increase fivefold. Nakita ko na zadto ang mga tao nagkayusa, nagtinabangay ng zadto na time, halos tanan taga ayoki. Seeing the boats converging at the boundary of the turf and seeing the excitement and the number of boats and people that were engaged was the highlight for me. Ya dito ang gobyerno magporsige. Ya magporsige ang gobyerno na trabahuan ito na project. Ya, kudili, ila kabubuton sa mga fishers dire. The Ioke launch was to signify that the turf design was approved by the local legislation. This is what we're doing and to celebrate it as a community. It's go time now. It's time to make sure that we are translating that design from paper on onto the water. Ini na proyekto pamasin paglaom nato ini na makahatag na dugang inin income dugang panginabuhian nato. I think the community here is really open to new ideas. They themselves realize it's not us that will be able to make their lives better, but it's them.